So hello everyone, welcome back to Hemeldown Model Railway. So in today's video what I'm going to be doing is showing you how I make my ground cover. It's a quite a cost effective way of doing it and I think that it looks quite realistic. So what I'm going to be doing is replicating how I uh, do the paths and the roads that I've made out of mud here. And what I'm going to be doing is adding all of that to all of the back section where the tracks are. So let me just show you how I make it up and then I'll show you some of the process of putting it down onto the layout. So in this part of the video, I'm gonna show you how I make my mud for the scenic area. So what I've done is to uh, bake off a load of mud and that's all been sieved. I then use some uh, seasonal green mix and also add in some uh, limestone ballast as well. So I'm gonna just crack on with that and then I'll show you the mix afterwards. So what I'm doing here is to add the mud in between the tracks and there's, if you was to look at eye level, um, there's like little sort of mounds and dips and then what I'm doing is leaving a little bit of space just for where the ballast will fall up to it. Then what I'm going to do is uh, cover that in a 50-50 mix with PVA and water uh, and a little dash of uh, washing up liquid and then I'm just going to soak down all of the section in the middle there. 
Um, I'm going to repeat the process all the way through on this line here and the space up through the middle here and then I'll be working my way all down the layout on that side there. The edges as you can see so I just have to brush off a little bit where the static grass is just to kind of uh, blend out some of that mud from the greenery. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's as if there's going to be walkers and stuff anyway. And some of it will be covered by a fencing that will pretty much mirror the very edge of where that mud is and stuff anyway. So I hope you can kind of see the effect that I'm going for. And uh, I'll bring you back in a little while once I've done a little bit more. of all of this section here all I've got to do is just that little section uh, just in there with a little bit of mud and then what I'm going to do is just coat that in some PVA and water mix and leave that a few days to dry so let's crack on with that So I'm just going to coat it in a little bit of IPA. Just do it in a section at a time. And then
So now whilst I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm just gonna clean off a little bit of the IPA off the rails, which will probably give it a little bit of a clean anyway. And then once this section is dry, I'll then hoover off any excess that's fallen in between the rails there. Uh, but as you can see, it's a little bit of sort of height variation and stuff. And then when the ballast then sort of sits up against it, it will look quite good. And then what I'll do is add in some little tufts and some weeds and stuff all in between. So I'm probably going to have to give that a few days to, to dry. Uh, so there'll be no running session for me. And uh, whilst I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to show you another little project that I've been building towards the end of the layout. This is the section that I've been currently making and uh, what it is is going to be um, a little walkway or a little path that will come off this end and some like walkers can go across the top here just for like a little viewing point uh, over the back of where the curves are. Now I wanted to kind of do away with seeing just a load of curves and add a little bit more detail to the layout. So I've got this um, little kind of viewpoint here. So if you're looking through here, you would see um, some locos go by and there'll be like a little sort of path in there. There'll be some brick papers that will go in through there. And then what I will do with uh, the edge of this is to um, build up with some uh, plaster and carve out uh, some sort of uh, a bridge 
or tunnel that's been cut in there and then this will be um, a load of sort of uh, stones and you know a mossy kind of rock face um, I will use the same technique that I did with building the um, the bridge there and carve it and use some uh, cat litter for the top stones but the aim was to um, kind of block off as you can see the little triangle piece in the corner of the layout there and then with uh, the viaduct at the back there it will then start to uh, blend into that corner there so it will just sort of tie up all of this corner here and then when you're looking from uh, this angle here it doesn't just look like there's a board at the in the background there I've started to add um, a little bit of uh, polystyrene just on the corner there because it sort of slopes down where I've made uh, this sort of hillside here so I'm going to uh, plaster up uh, that to bring that kind of level and then any views from uh, this end uh, you'll start to see there's like a, a big bridge in the background there and then I'll use uh, some of the greys that I've used for the layout and the rocks on this side so the same sort of technique that I've used uh, to paint up uh, these ones here so I've used um, some plaster bandage and some polyfiller. Now basically the paint will stick to uh, the different types that I've used and it will go darker on some and lighter on others. So that helps with getting the same sort of uh, technique that I've used on this side. Um, it's exactly the same. On there you can see it's slightly darker and slightly lighter. lighter. Uh, so I'm hoping that I can replicate that up in that corner um, when viewing from down here now as well um, so the um, trains will kind of disappear around the corner there which will be quite nice I think it gives kind of a, a good viewing point case of waiting now for a few days uh, for all this to dry before I can then start adding in a little bit more detail. What I have done is I've painted up all the brown across the top there and then that will be ready for static grassing and then all I have to do then is just paint the edge of the little cliff face there that's leading onto the track. Once I've added in all my grass tufts and weeds all into the middle of these uh, lines here uh, then I should be ready for balancing uh, so what I'm going to do is secure down that middle rail add in any sleepers get that all prepped up and then this section then will be ready to uh, get finished off and then all I have to then focus on is just getting uh, these couple of mounds done and adding in a few more trees across this section here just wanted to kind of get all this bit tied up and finished um, obviously with a little project ongoing up the end there and then I'll be ready then to get in all of the fencing down by the viaduct start adding in some bushes in and around where the viaduct is and then I've temporarily put in a piece of track there 
where there's going to be sort of an old disused line and then I'm pretty much at the point where I'm up to uh, this end of the layout now so I can start focusing on uh, getting the little mound for the footbridge that will go over to there start with all the textures on the on the actual bridge itself um, then I'll continue uh, some of the muds uh, going up into this part and then getting all my ballast and stuff put down all up in around under in this section here and then I can focus on uh, getting uh, this end of the track done so I haven't done too much more I've kind of lifted off all the boards on this section here um, I'm just working out and spacing all of my curves in this section and I'm going to be cutting all the cork and everything ready uh, for the track to be all pinned down here. I've got to remove um, this point here uh, down at the bottom, uh, this one here. So I'm going to remove that out and put a little bit of uh, straight track in there and then I'm going to link up somehow uh, further down here with some uh, some points and stuff here, just so that I can interchange tracks on those ones there, and then work out bringing out uh, that point there and taking that further up the back there. So I just thought it was kind of important to, uh, to get this bit finished before I crack on too much with that side. Um, there was gonna be, um, a video of me just uh, sorting out all this top bit but I kind of um, looked back at some of my videos and just sat here uh, looking at the layout and realizing that I hadn't actually quite finished all of this section here um, and I don't want to be um, rushing the other side and then not getting this side finished so I thought I'd just get this 100% done tie off doing the station and then uh, working on the top section there. So I've still got three or four more weeks of, um, of February to sort of get all this worked out and stuff. So yeah, that's my that's my kind of plan. Um, so thanks for joining everyone. Um, I hope you've enjoyed seeing how I've made the uh, ground cover and I hope you get to see once all this is dried um, a little bit more of the detail that I'll put into it and then um, a little bit more progress on the layout. So thanks for joining everyone and I will speak to you all soon. Bye for now.